Hello guys. In today's video, we are gonna discuss practical data engineering interview questions you might encounter in your data engineering interview rounds. Some of the questions we are gonna be looking into are as follows. How would you design a scalable and fault-tolerant data processing system? Can you explain the process of ingesting streaming data into a data warehouse? How would you handle data transformation and cleansing in a data engineering project? Possible response to the question. How would you design a scalable and fault-tolerant data processing system? Designing a scalable and fault-tolerant data processing system involves considering various aspects of the system architecture. Here are some key considerations and design principles. Distributed processing. Use a distributed processing framework, such as Apache Spark, Apache Hadoop, or Apache Flink, to leverage parallelism and distribute data processing across multiple nodes or clusters. This allows for horizontal scalability and the ability to handle large volumes of data. Data partitioning. Partition data across multiple nodes based on a defined key or strategy. This ensures that the processing load is evenly distributed and allows for parallel processing. Consider factors like data skew and access patterns when deciding on the partitioning strategy. Replication and redundancy. Replicate data across multiple nodes to ensure fault tolerance and availability. Redundancy helps in handling node failures and prevents data loss. Distributed storage systems like Apache HDFS or cloud-based object storage systems provide replication mechanisms. Autoscaling. Implement an autoscaling mechanism that automatically adds or removes resources based on the processing demand. This ensures that the system can handle increased workloads during peak periods and scale down during lower demand, optimizing resource utilization and cost efficiency. Fault detection and recovery, monitor the health and performance of the system components, including nodes, services, and data pipelines. Implement mechanisms for detecting failures and recovering from them. This may include automated restarts, failover mechanisms, or using backup nodes to take over failed components. Data resilience and backup, implement data resilience mechanisms like data backups, data mirroring, or data replication to ensure data availability in case of failures. Regularly backup data and store it in different geographical locations or cloud regions to protect against disasters or data center outages. Load balancing, distribute the workload evenly across processing nodes to prevent overloading and ensure optimal resource utilization. Load balancing algorithms can distribute incoming data or processing tasks based on node capacity, network conditions, or other factors. Data compression and optimization, use data compression techniques to reduce storage requirements and network bandwidth. Compressed data requires fewer resources to process, transmit, and store. Additionally, optimize data processing algorithms and queries to minimize computational overhead. Monitoring and alerting, set up monitoring and alerting systems to proactively identify performance bottlenecks, resource utilization, and potential failures. Use metrics and logs to track system health, data processing rates, and errors. Configure alerts to notify administrators or operations teams in case of anomalies or threshold breaches. Disaster recovery and business continuity. Plan for disaster recovery scenarios by implementing backup and recovery strategies. Consider data backups, off-site replication, or cloud-based data storage options to ensure business continuity in the event of catastrophic failures or natural disasters. Scalable storage. Choose scalable storage options that can handle the growing volume of data. Cloud-based storage solutions like Amazon S3, Google Cloud Storage, or Azure Blob Storage offer elastic scalability and high durability for storing large data sets. Resilient data pipelines, design data pipelines with fault tolerance in mind. Implement mechanisms like message queues, checkpoints, or transaction logs to ensure data consistency and recoverability in case of failures during data processing or data transfers. By considering these principles and employing appropriate technologies and architectural patterns, you can design a scalable and fault-tolerant data processing system that can handle increasing workloads, provide high availability, and recover gracefully from failures. 
Let us respond to the second interview question, which is. Can you explain the process of ingesting streaming data into a data warehouse? The process of ingesting streaming data into a data warehouse involves several steps. Here's a high-level overview of the process. Identify streaming data sources. Determine the streaming data sources that you want to ingest into the data warehouse. These sources can include real-time event streams, log files, IoT devices, social media feeds, or any other source that generates continuous data streams. Choose a streaming data processing framework. Select a streaming data processing framework that suits your requirements. Popular options include Apache Kafka, Apache Flink, Apache Storm, or cloud-based services like Amazon Kinesis, Google Cloud Pub Sub, or Azure Event Hubs. These frameworks provide the necessary tools and libraries for processing streaming data. Define data ingestion pipeline. Design a data ingestion pipeline that connects the streaming data source to the data warehouse. This pipeline consists of several components, including data connectors, data transformation logic, and the target data warehouse. Extract and transform data. Extract the data from the streaming source and apply any necessary transformations or enrichments. This step may involve filtering, aggregating, joining with reference data, or performing other operations to prepare the data for storage in the data warehouse. Choose a data warehouse. Select a data warehouse platform that supports streaming data ingestion. Common choices include Amazon Redshift, Google BigQuery, or Snowflake. These platforms provide scalable storage and query capabilities for analyzing large data sets. Establish data integration. Establish the connection between the streaming data processing framework and the data warehouse. This can be achieved through direct integration options provided by the data warehouse platform, custom built connectors, or using intermediary tools like Apache NiFi or Apache Beam. Ensure data consistency and reliability. Implement mechanisms to ensure data consistency and reliability during the ingestion process. This may involve techniques like message queuing, data buffering, or using transactional rights to the data warehouse. Handle schema evolution. Account for schema changes in the streaming data over time. As the data source evolves, you may need to handle schema updates or introduce schema evolution mechanisms to ensure compatibility with the data warehouse schema. Monitor and validate data. Set up monitoring and validation processes to ensure the quality and integrity of the ingested data. Monitor data ingestion rates, latency, and error rates. Perform data validation checks to identify any discrepancies or anomalies. Enable continuous data loading. Configure the data ingestion pipeline to continuously load streaming data into the data warehouse. This ensures that the data warehouse stays up to date with real-time data, allowing near real-time analysis and reporting. Apply data governance and security measures. Implement data governance practices to ensure compliance with data privacy regulations and security policies. This includes data encryption, access controls, auditing, and monitoring to protect the streaming data and ensure its privacy and integrity. Perform data quality assurance, implement data quality checks and validation processes to ensure the accuracy and reliability of the ingested data. This may involve data profiling, anomaly detection, or statistical analysis to identify data quality issues and take appropriate corrective actions. By following these steps and leveraging the appropriate tools and technologies, you can ingest streaming data into a data warehouse efficiently and enable real-time analytics and reporting on your continuously changing data. The last question is, how would you handle data transformation and cleansing in a data engineering project? Let's respond to the final question in this data engineering interview question. As a principal data engineer, handling data transformation and cleansing in a data engineering project involves several key steps and considerations. Here's a general approach. Data profiling. Begin by understanding the data sources and their quality. Perform data profiling to gain insights into the structure, format, and potential issues in the data. This helps identify data quality problems and informs the transformation process. Define data transformation logic. 
based on the project requirements and data profiling results, define the transformation logic. This includes tasks such as data type conversions, standardizing formats, handling missing values, removing duplicates, and aggregating data. Data cleaning, implement data cleaning techniques to ensure data accuracy and consistency. This may involve removing outliers, handling inconsistencies, validating data against business rules, and addressing data integrity issues. Data enrichment, determine if any additional data is needed to enrich the existing data sets. This can include merging data from external sources, performing lookups, or integrating data from different systems to provide a comprehensive view. Scalability and performance, consider the scale and performance requirements of the data transformation process. Optimize transformations to handle large volumes of data efficiently using techniques like parallel processing, distributed computing, and indexing. Data validation and quality assurance, develop robust data validation checks to ensure the transformed data meets the desired quality standards. Implement data quality metrics, anomaly detection, and automated validation processes to detect and handle errors. Effectively, Automation and monitoring, design and implement automated data transformation workflows using tools or frameworks such as Apache Airflow or Apache Spark. Set up monitoring and alerting mechanisms to proactively identify issues and ensure ongoing data quality. Documentation and metadata management, document the transformation processes, including the logic, assumptions, and any data lineage information. Maintain metadata catalogs that provide visibility into the transformed data, its sources, and the transformation steps applied. Iterative approach, data transformation and cleansing often require an iterative approach. Continuously monitor the quality of transformed data and refine the transformation logic based on feedback and evolving business requirements. Collaboration, collaborate closely with data analysts, data scientists, and other stakeholders to understand their data requirements and ensure the transformed data meets their needs. Regularly communicate and validate the transformation results with the relevant teams. Overall, a comprehensive approach to data transformation and cleansing involves understanding the data, defining transformation logic, implementing cleansing techniques, ensuring scalability and performance, validating the transformed data, and maintaining documentation and collaboration throughout the process. These are some of the data engineering interview questions you may encounter during the interview round. Thank you for watching. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and like the video.